Sometimes you just need a book that will lift your spirits and make you feel good. Sometimes you want a book that will make you a bit better and a bit happier. In today's video, I bring to you 7 feel good books for the days when you need an extra boost. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, I am Shalu. Welcome to my channel where I post books related videos. As I mentioned before, in today's video, I am going to share with you 7 feel good books which will keep your spirits high and will give you some much needed distraction. So without further ado, let's get started. The first book is The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse by Charles McKesey. What a beautiful and inspirational book. The story is simple but very profound. It follows the story of a boy, a mole who loves cakes, a quiet fox and a wise horse who roam around countryside sharing wisdom and insights on life. It is a wonderful story about life, love and friendships. The book has some beautiful illustrations. There are precious gems of wisdom sprinkled throughout the book. It is a simple and thought-provoking read which reminds the readers of the kindness and goodness inherent in all of us. It is such a beautiful and thoughtful read that I cannot help recommending it enough. The next book is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. It is an unusual love story of slow-burn rivals turned lovers. Now you will ask what is so unusual about it? Well, one of the protagonists is the Prince of England and the other the first son of US. After his mother became the president, Alex rose to stardom with media following his every move. Alex has a long-held rivalry with Harry, the Prince of England. When the pictures of arguments between the two are splashed all over the tabloids, their respective PR managers devise a fake truce between the two. What starts as a fake friendship soon escalates into a romance they both struggle to hide. The book is filled with great political discussions and a romance with a difference. If you are looking for a sweet, romantic young adult novel, your search is over. The next book is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Hedden. The story unfolds through the innocent eyes of 15 years old Christopher who has Asperger's syndrome and a talent for maths. He can remember but he cannot prioritize. But then his neighbor's dog gets murdered and he turns into a detective to solve the mystery. This leads to Christopher unraveling some more mysteries along the way. This is such a delightful read. The book will definitely leave you with a smile with the way it is written. The next book is The Guernsey Literary and Potato Pea Pie Society by Mary Ann Schaeffer and Annie Barrows. This is such a beautiful and heartwarming read. It is set in 1946 when the world was just emerging from the shadows of World War II. Juliet Ashton, a British writer, responds to a letter written by Dossie Adams, a resident of Guernsey. Through this initial contact, Juliet comes into contact with the members of the Guernsey Literary Society and the course of her life is redirected. The book is written as a series of letters and telegrams. It documents the experiences and atrocities of the residents of Channel Island during the Nazi occupation in World War II. The characters of the book are flawed, charming and heroic but they are all united by distress and their love for literature. The book talks about the World War II and yet it is so beautiful and delightful. Above all, this book talks about books. Do you know any more reasons to pick it up? The next book is Anxious People by Frederick Backman. Backman's latest novel is the perfect remedy for pandemic and anxiety. It is about a bank robbery that never took place. A clumsy bank robber messes up the robbery. While trying to escape the police, the robber interrupts an apartment viewing and takes the would-be buyers as hostages. And these eight extremely anxious strangers turn out to be the worst hostages one can expect. The hostage drama not only leads to hours of confusion but also makes way for new revelations and new connections. The book will restore your faith in humanity. The book is so damn funny and yet so heartwarming.
The next book is My Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella. When I talk about feel good books, then how can I not mention Sophie Kinsella? This book follows the story of Katie Brenner who gets fired from her job. She moves back to her family farm in Somerset and starts helping her parents in their promising vacation business. Everything seems to be going well until Katie's former boss Dementor turns up unexpectedly at the farm as a guest. Katie has always thought of Dementor's life as perfect. But is everything as it seems? The book has an engaging protagonist, a charming leading man, a slow-brewing romance and some hilarious moments. This light-hearted book comes with a profound life lesson. It is the perfect romantic comedy. And the last book is Battle for Bitora by Anuja Chauhan. When you are in need for some laughter, then pick up a book by Anuja Chauhan. Believe me, you will not be disappointed. The backdrop of this engaging novel is the drama of Indian election scene. Fighting for the Lok Sabha seat of Bitora are two frenemies with complicated history, Sarojini Pandey and Zain Altaf Khan. Sarojini belongs to the illustrious Pandey clan of Pavit Pradesh. Bitora is her grandmother's constituency. Zain is the idealistic, handsome ex-Nawab of Bitora. The novel is about the slow simmering romance between Sarojini and Zain amidst the campaigning for the election. Anuja Chauhan's trademark humor makes it such a delightful read. So these were my recommendations for some feel good books. Have you read any of these books? If yes, do share your thoughts in the comment section. If you have liked this video, please like, comment and share. And if you want to see more bookish content like this, please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Until my next video, bye and take care.